Hello! Welcome to another episode of John Sequitur. I am not John Brown, unfortunately. He's dead. I'm not dead, though. This is episode three of the Minimum Wage Jobs series thing, and today we're going to talk about Trader Horn. Trader Horn was an Ace Hardware type hardware store thing. There was only 13 of them when I worked at them. 13 maybe? Jay, co-host, back me up on this. You worked there too! So I got the job there because, as I said in the last episode, McDonald's just stopped putting me on the schedule. So the pay at Trader Horn was $5.25 an hour. There was almost no chance that you were going to get a raise unless you became a manager, and there were only four of those, and one of them was my mom. Ugh. That caused literally almost every problem that I had when I was there. In this weird thing where only male employees could take things from the store to the customer's cars. That included things like concrete, sand, PVC pipe. When I first started working there, I could actually do that. But people were complaining because well, his mom is a manager. I don't really know what that has to do with anything. But because of that, I was the only male in the entire store who had to work the register. That's sexist. This store was sexist. This store was run by a 90-something year old man who literally looked like Mr. Burns. He would walk around like this. X in the store all the time whenever he would come in to check the place out. One day, I'm stocking shelves, because that's basically all you do. And I have to put a bunch of paint cans on the bottom shelf of an end cap. So I wheel over my little cart thing, and I sit down to put them on there. And my mom strolls over, because she's a manager, like I said, and she's like, you can't sit on that. Are you serious right now? If they see you down there like that, they're gonna think that you're lazy. Okay, I literally was like this for like an hour. Now that right there was all I needed to know as far as how my mom would treat me if she was my manager. But apparently, everyone else seemed to think that it would be favoritism, which led to all kinds of dumb shit. Such as, there was an employee of the month that everybody could get, right? Everybody could get it. Not me though, I wasn't allowed to, and I tried. The reason being, it's easier to get a raise if you're employee of the month. Get more than one employee of the month during the year, you can get employee of the year and get a week's paid vacation. <laughs> because the thing is at this place, if you called off three times during the entire year, just three, and didn't have a doctor's excuse, which by the way, there's no health insurance. If you did it three times and you didn't have a doctor's excuse, fired. I got wrote up twice there. Once was because I didn't give a customer who never wanted a bag, a bag. The other time was because... <laughs> This store was so old school, it did not have scanners, barcode scanners. Instead, we had to walk around with a ticket gun, manually put the price in, and mark each item. So that leads to the same joke 500 times a fucking day. Oh, no price, huh? Well, I guess it's for free then, isn't it? Comedic genius. Why are you shopping here? You should be in Hollywood. Or the other one, when you would have to call for a price check because you would have to call for a price check every fucking time. Come on, man, it was only like 978 or something like that. They make up a fucking price out of the top of their fucking heads. And that is a problem. Because either the customer is pissed at you because you won't just let them make up a price, or the customer keeps making the same joke over and over and makes you want to go fucking crazy. Standing at the register, someone brings up a beanbag chair. I have no frame of reference whatsoever as to how much a beanbag chair costs. They set it up there, and I'm like, there's no price tag on this. And I look up, and he's like, they're right over there. And I look up, and there's a sign, a pallet of water, some soda, beanbag chairs, lawn chairs, and there's one sign, and the sign says like $4.49. I'm like, all right, $4.49. Out the door he goes. I get rode up because the thing costs like 50 some dollars. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Oh, I know how I'm supposed to know. Fucking barcode scanners! Ah! I didn't get employee of the month because my mom was a manager. Which meant I kind of didn't want to do anything. Also, every male in that store hated my guts because they thought I was being favored for being put on the register. Being favored for it. Not being punished for it, which is exactly what was happening, but being favored for it. So obviously, at this point, I don't want to be at this fucking place at all. Not at all. On the weekends, occasionally, if you worked 8 to 4, sometimes the manager would be nice and offer to send people home early when people came in at 1 to work 1 to 9. So, um, that never happened to me. Not once. Not ever. But, 
To make it seem fair, she would put all of the names of the employees into a hat and then pull them out, and whoever's name did not get pulled would be the one who was unlucky and didn't get sent home. It was every single time me. Every time. But that's okay, because it's not like I can hang out with my fellow co-workers anyway, because again, they hate my guts! Here's how the raise situation worked. It wasn't like you got, like, a dollar or something like that. We were fighting for a nickel. A nickel. God forbid they give it to us, but my salary could have went from $5.25 to $5.30 an hour. So I, uh obviously hated this job very very much and the customers hated me there are different parts for a furnace and different sizes of these parts for furnaces we are told we're not allowed to tell them which ones to use because if their house blows up that's on us every single time that they would be like well, what do you recommend i would be like I can't tell you. And they would be like, well, why not? You work here, don't you? I don't want to speak to a manager. And then, of course, the managers would be mad at me for not answering a question. They told me not to answer. Ah! Anyway, I quit this job just in time to go across the country, so fuck this job. I never went back to it. Bah! I hated it so much. But I do still have the employee of the month plaque because my mom ended up running the store until it finally shut down. Uh, a couple years ago, and I put Angela from Sleepaway Camp's picture inside of it because she deserves it. You ever see that movie? Why are you doing this to me? Because you're a cheerleader, a fornicator, a drug taker, a nasty, snotty bigot, and besides that, you're real nice. Hard worker. Anyway, <sighs> we're going back to fast food next. Taco Bell. You know, you would think, Taco Bell? Free tacos? Oh! Well, as we've learned from this show, most of the food ain't free, baby. Bye.